Okay, so for this project, uh, we're going to be setting up the player's moving con movement controls. This would give our users a couple of options to walk and run. Uh, I'll just start by creating a new project called Advanced Mobile Controls Dash Movement. From the build settings, let's go ahead and set the build to Android or iOS. Next, I need to head over to the Assets Store to acquire the necessary projects. Uh, the first one I need is the third person cover shooter template and Unity standard assets and all of these will be linked in the video's description. All we'll need for this example from the standard assets is the cross-platform folder and the initialized script. Now that I have the assets in my project folder, I'm going to find the UI prefabbed named Mobile Single Stick Control and double click it to open the prefab. With the assets directory selected, I'm going to create a folder uh, to put my prefabs in. Create a prefab of the joystick by dragging it to the folder I just created and duplicate it with the command for Mac or control for Windows plus D and then rename it to Movement Mobile Joystick. With either joystick selected, double click the joystick script to open it in Visual Studio or your favorite code editor. On line 4, add using unity engine.ui. On lines 28 through 30, add the public bull walk and public toggle auto run. Um, I did forget to add the public string button name, uh, but you will see that later.
After line 56, we add these two if statements for the joystick to know when it reaches the maximum up value of the available range, which is 1. The player will stop running and return to walking when the joystick moves below 0.7. This can also be repeated for backwards and strafe. At line 139, the set down state acts similar to our button calling, and on line 151, we want to add the toggle functions. Uh, here is the public uh, string button name that I forgot to add earlier. In the on pointer down event at line 129, use an if statement to check if the auto run is active and sets it to false. Alright, so rename the joystick class to movement joystick and let's go ahead and save it as with that same movement joystick name. Drag the new script onto the movement joystick and remove the original joystick script. Reopen the mobile single stick control prefab again and create a prefab for the jump button. In the hierarchy, uh, select the main camera and disable the mouse lock component. Select the canvas and right click and create a new UI panel and name it movement panel. Set the opacity to zero. Drag the movement joystick to the movement panel, select the canvas again, and from the canvas scalar component, so that we get consistent ratios across platforms, change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size, reference resolution to a generic 1920 width uh, by 1080 height, and set the match to 0.5. Drag the original joystick and position it to the right of the other joystick and position the anchors to the center of the image and then change the horizontal and vertical axis names to mouse X and Y. Drag the jump button prefab onto the panel and name it run button. Having some technical difficulties with uh, Unity's original UI text component, uh, so I'm just going to delete it. Uh, if you do need to use text, uh, I recommend using the Text Mesh Pro option. Using an icon, we'll go over later how I got it. Uh, replace the button's image and move it to a suitable location.
For the movement joystick, limit the movement range to 20. You can adjust the joystick's range of movement with this along with the references to it from the script. If you were to change the canvas scalar size for an iPad Pro versus an iPhone, be mindful the set toggle state references 20 directly, and I haven't a better solution at the moment. Keep an eye on the description for a better option. And I've just created a toggle here. I want to position it close to and below the movement joystick. And add a new on value changed event. And drag the movement joystick to the empty field. Open the drop down and expand the movement joystick and select set toggle state. Uh, sorry, it did get cut off here. Now select the move joystick and drag the toggle to the auto run field and enter run in the button name field. Also uh, you'll need to uncheck the is on box on the toggle. Okay, let's go ahead and enter play mode and test out some of the UI here. Let's see if everything's working. Select the cowboy and double click the third person input script. On line three, add using Unity Standard Assets dot cross platform input and on lines 191 through 213 and 48 and 49 find input and replace it with cross platform input manager and uh, comment out lines 474 475 and 491 All right, save that file and uh, let's go ahead and test it again. Uh, make sure the cross-platform components are working with our character. Okay, looks great. Um, well, almost. Um, we are... Uh, missing one thing. Um, let's take a look at this again. Um, so maybe, you know, to indicate having um, the walk function and then the ability to push further and have the run, uh, we could probably use like a little arrow right here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do about adding an arrow. Uh, this is Nucleo, a UI tool I use. Um, if you really want to use the, U the icons I'm using in this example, it'll be linked as well. Uh, an ideal icon in this situation would be better as a solid white as opposed to the black, just an FYI. Open the Move Joystick Prefab and add a new image as a child. Drag the arrow to the image field and rotate it along the z-axis 90 degrees. Position it above the joystick image and size it somewhat like so, um, just to you know make sure it's not too intrusive, um, but make sure it's you know at least decent enough size so where uh, the user does see it. And for this to work properly, we want to disable the arrow game object. 
Okay, go ahead and open the move joystick script again and add the public game object one arrow to line 31 and add run arrow dot set active false to lines 125 and 154 and on line 159 we're going to add the run arrow dot set active true. And let's go ahead and save and then return to the editor. And let's see. So I did forget to rename the new image as a prefab. I can use the overrides to set it if needed. Uh, and now drag it to the run arrow field on the move stick component. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something and I hope you have a fantastic day.